Thank you for joining me again for another edition on our Genuine Diamonds in AR YouTube channel, Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas. Uh, I wanted to kind of explain, bring you up to date where we're at in case you don't watch all of my videos. So, we, uh, my wife Cindy and I own a diamond mine outside the Crater of Diamonds State Park. There are seven known intrusions that bear diamonds outside the Crater of Diamonds State Park, all in a northeast trending pattern. And they're all within three miles of the famous Crater of Diamonds State Park, where diamonds up to four and a quarter carats have been found so far. My idea is, <laughs> now that I'm getting older, instead of going into the crater and digging by hand, carrying by hand, washing by hand, and sorting by hand, we'd have automation equipment do it. Well, we brought a D6 Caterpillar bulldozer into our mine to remove the overburden, and it's working well. Then we have uh, rented a, an excavator to dig up the hard lamparite because if you've seen in the other videos, it's so hard, a little, a smaller backhoe had a hard time breaking it up. And we had to use an old antique plow to break up the previously undisturbed virgin diamond bearing lamparite ore. So no one's uncovered it, no one's tested it before, and we want to sample it for diamonds, recover diamonds out of it. Well, <clears throat> we got some state of the art diamond recovery equipment shipped here from South Africa and the plant used to stop right here and the oversized rock dropped off the end. Well I wasn't comfortable with that because there could be a diamond inside this lamparite ore because when we dig it up it's great big huge chunks and it rolls around in the scrubber it breaks up smaller and a lot of it is jigged over here uh, two smaller sizes, but this oversized stuff, there could be diamonds encased inside of it, and we want to release them. So the stuff that doesn't break down the first time through the trommel scrubber, we want to recirculate it. We want to send it back on through. And I've tried various different things on the end here, an expanded metal, and what I was doing was scooping up off of here putting it into buckets and then the bucket we uh, loaded up in that small backhoe when the lens was here and we set it back into the plant. Well now I'm feeding with an excavator and I still have to scoop here. I spend so much time. I'll feed with the excavator and then come around here and I'm always scooping gravel all day. And I want to automate this into the process. And this is not what I had in mind. I mean, it works great. I fixed an aluminum frame there. And you can see the water is recycling. Uh, the water pumps out of our settling pond here. And goes up and comes down here. And then I have this aluminum and stainless, aluminum frame and stainless steel screen that catches the big rocks and the water washes on away. But I've always wanted to invent the better mouse trap. And like I said, the whole purpose of all this is to have <laughs> automation. I want to dig with the excavator and haul it here with the dump truck and dump it in a pile, reach in with the excavator, pick it up, feed the plant, and I want it to automatically break down the large chunks of lamparite, release the diamonds, have the jig capture the diamond and throw away all everything that's not a diamond. Everything's working real well except I'm not real happy with this labor-intensive part here. So if you will check back with me tomorrow, I'll post a video of my latest idea for fixing this problem here. I added this uh, golden diamond sluice that I stole off of my dredge that I bought from Gene Engineering years ago. And it's, it's working well. The, uh, it's a big diamond or topaz. 
came down here, it was catching these ripples under these waterfalls. They, do you see how this is water falling here? And there's ripples under there. And where it loses velocity, then the diamonds or heavy minerals will drop out and catch in here. So after running for a few days, I shut this off and I can lift these screens out, lift the ripples out, and clean everything and then jig all that material, see if we caught a big diamond. We don't want the Uncle Sam diamond to get away. Uh, just a short way from here, it's Crater Diamond State Park, diamonds up to 40 and a quarter carats have been found. And that would be in this size material. It would probably be about the size of my thumb. And I don't want to miss a thumb size diamond. Yeah, I want all the little ones, but I don't want a big one to get away either. So this is too labor intensive for me. I've been loading this wheelbarrow and then I'll show you what I've been doing. And then tomorrow I'll post a video of how we're going to try to do it differently. So I pushed the wheelbarrow around here by hand while the plant's running. And I've been dumping it all into this pile. And then the excavator can reach in and grab it. Get all that stuff that hasn't broken down and feed it back into the plant up there. Uh, <clears throat> You can see how big some of these chunks of lamparite are, and that's why they don't get clear uh, broken down through the process, and some of it has to be fed back through, because it is real hard. If you've seen the other videos of us digging or plowing it, uh, we can't even jab these rocks with a rock bar or dig it with a shovel, and a pick won't phase it either. It bounces off. So we are going to work at... A different idea so I don't have to spend all day scooping this oversized rock and pushing it over here with a wheelbarrow so watch our video tomorrow and see if that solve for the problem works or not at this point I really don't know but I've got to try something different it's wearing me out and I want to do a volume without a bunch of manual labor thanks for joining me and check back tomorrow